YouTube Nation, for your success, your favorite Colorado 14er finishing hiking professor, Dr. Brandon Four. Loveland Pass, mid-September, where today, I'm just going to walk up this way and walk over to Grizzly and Grays and Tories all the way to Square Top Mountain. That's right, taking the Continental Divide from pass to pass. All right, so coming from Loveland Pass, came from Cupid over there. There's Grays and Tories right there, those tiny little peaks. And in front is Grizzly. You can see the route to Grizzly, then down up into Grays and Tories. It's a beautiful day today. Good morning. It is a little windy for mid-September, not surprising. A little chilly, as you could tell the way I'm dressed. But I'm going to try for this today, Loveland Tonella Pass. And uh, I see the route that I'm going to take to get up to Grays and Tories. Once I get up there, then it's just a ridge walk across a bunch of 13ers. It's still a long day. This is 18, 20 miles. And it's pretty windy, but the winds are coming from the west, so they should be to my back most of the hike. And we'll just see how today goes. But for right now, uh, it's a, it's the sun is out. No chance of precip. Beautiful day. Let's get out there and let's crush some 13ers and 14ers today. I'm excited. Grays and Tories and all their majesty, but right now, I gotta focus on Grizzly. Enjoying spots where it's not windy, because guess what? It's windy today. One last flower, holding on for dear life. Just heading up Grizzly, second 13 of the day. Try and stay out of the wind as much as possible. Beautiful day. Let's go. Let's go. Grizzly Peak, 13 or two for the day. Second 13 of the day, feeling good. The wind has briefly stopped. Yeah, let's go. What a gorgeous day. The state's turning fall. It's mid-September. Things change here early, folks. Just an absolutely gorgeous day. I can't believe how awesome it is out here. If you look way off in the distance, that's where I started right there. Came up that ridge up to Cupid, down to peak two for the day. Cupid was peak one. So I'm gonna come down through here, and then boy oh boy, that is really steep. Uh, from the bottom to the top is just under a mile, and over 1,600 feet of elevation gain. Keep in mind that the Manitou incline is 0.88 miles and 2,000 feet. So it's basically a 13er to a 14er Incline. Boy, it's just absolutely amazing out here. Not a soul in sight. A couple people doing grizzly once you get past that. 
Not a lot of people do Grays and Tories from this route, but it's it can be done. It's mapped. There's a few Karens, not much. Who's ready for 1,600 feet of hell in a mile? This guy. And that's Grizzly, where I came from. What a magical Colorado day. I'm enjoying the reprieve now because it's just awesome right now. I got a long day ahead of me, but I'm so grateful to be out here to share it with you. What an awesome day! Look at this! Yes! I got some uphill to do, so I probably should start climbing uphill. Here we go. Just going up the steep stuff. It's all loose too. So, 1,600 feet in a mile, all on loose rock and dirt. Just the way I like it. Difficult. <laughs> it's a great day to be out here. Let's keep pushing it up, right? Let's go. The smoke is cleared and Tori's Peak is awesome. And what's so great about this view right here is you can see the entire route. So way down there is Loveland Pass. You can even see some cars driving. And you can see Cupid, Grizzly, the ridge down, the 1,600 feet in a mile that I just did. And boy, oh boy, you can see Frisco, the 10 mile range. So you can see the remaining route right here hit the summit and then cut across this ridge. I might hit this 13er, then come back across, hit Argentine Peak, then square top. And of course, off in the distance, Peak 58 for me, Mount Evans. So for as crazy windy as it was over there, boy, it feels great. It is just awesome up here. Light winds, quite a few people enjoying the summit today. It is just magical. And all across the state, you know, everything is just turning colors. It's really a beautiful time to be out here in Colorado. I've come down the ridge, getting ready to head up to 14 or two of the day, peak four. Cruising right along, feeling good, heading to Gray's. Just blessed with really great weather now. Just came from Tories, 30 minutes to get over here. I'm on Gray's and you can see the rest of the route. Well, minus the four miles after square top, but the ridge walk you can see, I gotta head down this 
rock scree across this ridge to this peak. Then I might do this additional 13er, come back, cut across the Continental Divide. You can see the, the, the Argentine Pass trails right there. I stay on top, hit Argentine Peak, hit this ridge all the way to Square Top, then finally down to Nella Pass. It's always longer than you want it to be. And it's been a fun ridge hike. Definitely some class two plus doing this. My plan is just to cut across right here. And try to get to that trail. Mount Edwards, 13850, 13er three for the day, peak five for the day. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. That's McClellan. I'm feeling good enough to get McClellan in, then come back this way. Over here to Argentine. Then down and finally up for the grind to square top. I'm gonna try for eight peaks today. Are you kidding me? Woo! I feel pretty good for a guy who's done three 13ers and two 14ers already today. It's just a perfect weather day. I'm so glad I got to the top here. A little more class three and whatever than I wanted, but that, listen, hey. I'm here, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get that other peak in. You kidding me? What an awesome day. So glad I could share it with you. Peak six. Fourth 13er. McClellan. 13. 587. Look at beautiful. Grays and Tories, look at them out there. Yeah, looking fantastic. You can see the ridge that I came down right there. Hitting peak five. I've come over and I've hit peak six. I'm wasting no time to Argentine peak. You can see the ridge that I took from Grays. Look at that. Longer than you think. But it is fantastic today. Boy, oh boy. I'm still feeling really good with just two 13ers to go to get eight peaks in today. Argentine, I can see it from here. It is 
several miles. So I am going to cut across right here, try to not lose any elevation, sweep across right there, all the way to Argentina. Just cutting across Edwards to get to that ridge on my way over to Argentina. You can see the route, and right there, Argentina behind it, square top, peaks seven and eight. Good view of Greys and Tories. Just a beautiful view of the Continental Divide that I'm on right now. The Continental Divide Trail goes this way. I'm going straight because that's peak seven right there. Argentine Peak, yes, 13,738. Square top's even higher. <laughs> so whatever I lose, I gotta gain again one more time. Boy, I came from all the way over here on the other side. I am hurting. I got one peak to go, I can do this. But man, I'm hurting. I just gotta press on, keep going. The wind's uh, kind of pushing, but kind of in my face. I am all in. I'm all in. And uh, that going up is really gonna hurt. But one step at a time. No time like the present. There it is, the last peak of the day. I'm feeling a little better. It's still gonna be a grind off in the distance watching. Peak 58, Evans. Let's show it how it's done. Going down only to go up one more time. Winds have picked up. Making it even harder. Nothing's stopping me. I'm getting to the top of this peak. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm making it. I'm getting to this peak. I don't care how windy it gets. I'm getting to the top. Yes! Yes! Peak 8! Square top! 13,794! Yes! Oh, yes! Woo! Oh, God, I worked hard for that one.
God, that was hard. I am hurting. I am so happy. Oh, I've wanted this one for a long time. I posted this a long time ago on Twitter and Instagram. A lot of you were like, what, you, what do you want to do? What's the big thing you want to do? It wasn't 10 mile. It was this. I was working up to this. Eight peaks, six 13ers, two 14ers. I wanted to do this. I've got four miles to go. I have just, I'm so elated. I'm so happy it's done. <laughs> I worked so hard for this. It's all downhill from here. It's a little windy. But it's just nothing but blue sky smiling at me. I'm so happy. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The winds have finally calmed. The glow is over the mountains. Bierstadt, the Sawtooth, Evans, looking gorgeous tonight. There are no sounds and no people. Just a little over a mile left on this hike. Thank you so much for staying with me and watching. Subscribers, thank you so much for being a part of the journey. If you haven't, please subscribe. You know, my reaction on Square Top is why you watch my videos. Sure, some of you watch for the routes and there's lots of different reasons. And even you might like me, which is humbling. Thank you. What I would also say is what you saw was exactly my reaction. I'm leaving it in. I was I was exhausted, ecstatic, thrilled, emotional. It meant a lot to me and I'm happy to share that because Maybe some of you find me inspirational. But what really matters is I aspire to work on myself and to be a better human being. And that means personally, professionally, and also sharing these videos. I mean, I'm going up to the summit and all I'm thinking is just gratitude and love. I'm so lucky I can do this. I'm so lucky I have those in my life that love me so much. And in the end, isn't that what we all really want? Well, not everybody. Some people just want to be a-holes. But most people really do want to be loved. Valued, appreciated. And maybe that because I aspire inspires you and I'm really grateful for that I'm really proud of this hike of this accomplishment it means a lot to me and that's part of aspiring in life what do you want to do how hard are you willing to work for things remember this is just a video of four year success, your favorite hike and professor. I aspire to be a good person. 
And if there's anything to take away from being in this video, it's that I hope you aspire to be a better person too. The world's crazy. It's been extremely difficult. I've lost people to COVID. I'm sure you have too. I'm sure you know people who've gotten COVID. It's awful. So, Aspire. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. For the last time, just outside of Nella Pass. Lo Evans, Mount Evans right over there. My 14er finisher, yeah! Of for your success, your favorite Colorado 14er finisher. Sea to summit in Haleakala. And now, Loveland to Nella Pass, Dr. Brandon Four. Appreciate what we've got. Get out and experience nature. Maybe I'll see you on the trails one day. Till then, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.